if you want to know how to record this kind of cool looking turntable animation directly from unity then this video is for you so don't go anywhere keep watching for this project we will require three major assets from unity asset store the first one is hiram character pack the second one is the skull platform and the last one is this vr capture tool which will be used to record animation from unity so without wasting a time let's get started okay so first make a new unity project name turntable animation click create project then go to windows general and asset store and search for adam project select this adam character pack and click on import it will take some time select all the files and hit import again next go to leo scene and save scene as leo turntable so our progress will be saved in a separate scene next uh, hit ctrl shift n to make an empty game object called turntable object hit reset and make the leo is a child of this object okay so now we will move our object like this to make turntable animation next for the platform again go to general asset store and search for skull platform so this will be a base on which our character will stand click on skull platform hit import you can import this one but i have uh, used a slightly modified version so i am importing that one you can use this one if you like if you want to use this new modified version you can download the source file from the description box okay so now go to skull platform prefab and i'm using platform skull 03 prefab drag and drop into the scene okay and set the scale to 0 0.7 0 0.7 0 0.7 and place this platform right underneath the foot of this character also adjust the environment move it slightly down so that it is also beneath this platform okay so next we need to set up our camera so first uh, go to main camera change the field of view to 30 and adjust the camera's position so that the object is clearly visible in our scene set the rotation to 0 x0 y180 and z0 and place this character in the center of our frame you can switch to aspect to full HD so that you can get an idea how this object will look like in final view if you don't have this resolution you can always add any kind of resolution you want just type the width and height in the box and hit ok next I will move my camera down a little bit so that my character and its platform is clearly visible so just just a little bit okay so now our character is completely visible and uh, that's great you can hide these extra objects if you want okay so now our frame is completely set up next select the platform scale object and make this a child of this turntable object so now we can move the character and its platform at the same time like this uh, to rotate this object I have already prepared a simple script let me show you what is inside this is a very simple script just a rotation on the y-axis with rotation amount and time dot delta time and this rotation amount we will set from the inspector so just drag and drop this script on this turntable object and set the rotation amount to 50 and hit play that's great our character and its platform is moving very smoothly next I want to add two background lights and one fill light to make this even more dramatic so go to light and make a point light change the color to slightly darker blue to add more drama into the scene place this light in the background like so 
I'm changing this to spotlight because I don't like the impact of point light. Increase the spot angle to maximum and shadow type to soft shadows. Adjust its position slightly and duplicate this one and one more to the right side of this object. Okay, so our background light is done. Next to add a fill light, select the direction light and duplicate this one and place in the reverse direction of this existing light. Change the name to fill light and add a new layer for this character. Go to layer and add layer, type main and select our object on this main layer. Because we only want our main character to lit by this object, then go to light select nothing but main so this way this fill light will only affect our main character not the background as you can see feel free to play with the intensity or in direction of the fill light and after doing all the settings now our character is ready to be recorded as you can see it's now looking great uh, please ignore this white patches flickering on the screen it won't be visible in our final turntable animation the final task is to record this animation in the editor window. So to do that, we again go to asset store, type VR capture and select this first version, which is free. Select and hit import and import in the scene. After importing in the scene, uh, first of all, go to camera and remove this free camera script because we don't need this and add three main components first one is video capture to record this animation second video capture control and last is video capture ui now let's go through the settings as you can see these are very simple settings path is already defined format is normal frame size is according to whatever you want i'm keeping full hd encode quality to high and tializing to maximum 8 and frame rate is 30 or 60 you can keep whatever you like i'm keeping is 30 set the capture time to 5 seconds i will show this setting in a minute how you can automatically record this video for the video capture select size to 1 and drag and drop our main camera to this element 0 and that's pretty much for the setting one thing keep in mind that before recording keep the aspect ratio to free aspect so that uh, you can clearly see this record capture button on the bottom left corner click on start capture and now it's recording in the background even though this display is not showing here but it's recording and after some time click stop recording it will process and it will finish go to video capture and click on open save folder here your clip is saved double click to play and great our animation is successfully recorded to a movie file to record this clip automatically check debug start on awake and quit capture and set your time how many seconds you want and just play and it will automatically record and exit the play window after five seconds and keep in mind that sometimes it doesn't record just show this encode process finish message so if you get this message then you need to again hit play in order to record this animation and as you can see in the message it is showing the remaining frame and after five seconds it will automatically quit the scene and here is the final recorded animation so that's how you can record some cool looking animation sequences directly from the unity you can also use this uh, vr capture tool to record multiple cameras at the same times I will make a quick video on that in the future. You can download the source file from the link given in the description below. I will try my best to give you more and more information about Unity. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching.